Hello and welcome to Mystic Mia Tarot. This is a reading for the Gemini Collective. It is a timeless reading. Whenever you come to it, it's the perfect time for you to hear the messages relayed. The artwork in the frame is original. It's a rendition of a Modigliani painting. If interested, see info in the description box. I believe it's called Woman in the Yellow Jacket. I've already pre-shuffled a couple of different decks and laid out a Celtic cross. And I have some deliberate items in the frame. Uh, I have crystals to represent earth, flowers to represent air, water in a goblet to represent water, and a candle burning to represent fire. This reading is meant to be listened to as opposed to watch. If there is a card I want to point out to you, I will let you know. I am going to show you a card right off the bat, so keep watching for a moment. Uh, the card I am going to start with is a card to represent who you're connecting with in the 5D. So who is thinking of you and who are you thinking of? And the card I pulled is Temperance which represents Sagittarius. So there's uh, maybe shared thoughts of one another with a Sagittarius or someone with Sagittarius in their chart. And this also does set the tone for the reading. This is the Gentle Thrills Tarot. I'm just gonna prop the card up. I love when I pull the temperance card for the tone of the reading because Arguably, this is one of the best cards in the deck. It represents peace, balance, moderation, and um, sort of the universe um, protecting you. And I really feel that that happens. Um, I am a Gemini sun myself, and I'll give you an example of the, the universe uh, watching out for me. And it just happened yesterday. So I was rushing to get to work. I had stopped at the grocery store to get a cake for my coworker who had just had a birthday. And um, I was a bit harried and I had a can of Diet Coke in my hand. I am a fan of Diet Coke. <laughs> and um, so I dropped the can of Coke right in my lap and I happened to be wearing white jeans and so you can imagine um it was rather jolting um and i didn't have time to go home and change and i just thought oh well i'm just gonna go with it um and these kinds of things happen it's like a rite of passage i feel in life so anyway i just accepted it and i walked into work i go to my desk and at my desk is a long skirt given to me by a coworker. So I had something to change into. It was, it was like divine intervention. And so I wanted to just share that story because it does show how when you are in need, the universe does provide. And I feel like temperance expresses that. So, um, the next card I'm going to show you, I'm going to show it to you, is a card to represent you, Gemini. And I am using my artist oracle deck. And the card I pulled, which I'm showing right now, is Edvard Munch. And he's most famous for the painting of the scream, which is depicted here. So maybe there's been some anxiety going on right now in your life. Maybe you feel um, out of control and uh, perhaps there's a sense of, I mean, this is um, an example of symbolism in painting. So maybe you're feeling like you're getting these hard lessons from the universe and they're meant to be difficult and they're meant to test you. And all this, you know, all the same, it's still difficult to live through. 
Edvard Munch um, had a couple other paintings depicting, um, you know, other difficult emotions like melancholy. And anyway, maybe, um, like I said, you're going through a period of anxiety and you feel like screaming into the air. Um, the card itself says a, com a composed soul is not necessarily a calm one. Scream into a canvas, not a pillow. Ask anxiety to pose for you. So, sorry if you're going through a difficult time. I can tell you in my own personal life, there's been some, some things <laughs> um, uh, happening, which haven't been easy. But um, I feel like one of Gemini's best traits is their optimism and their uh, ability to kind of put on a happy face even when there's a lot of uh, dark things going on in their life. All right, so we're going to get into the Celtic cross and it's interesting how we just got that Edvard Monk to represent you because the very first card is the Ten of Wands, which is a card of, well, when the, in the, the, when in the upright, it represents, um, you know, having a lot of burdens. But in reverse, it seems like these burdens are ending. You're at the end of the burdening cycle. And, um, you're letting these burdens go. Conversely, it can also mean um, avoiding responsibility. Um, so if, if this has to do with the uh, person on your mind, maybe you know, you're not taking responsibility for things going south. If you've come to tarot, chances are you're experiencing some sort of discord in your romantic way. So maybe some there's been some, some discord and you're not basically taking responsibility. Um, it can also mean that you're taking on too much and maybe that's why you're having some anxiety right now. But on the positive side, it could mean the end of these burdens and um, We'll see as we get further into the reading. You're crossed by the Eight of Cups in reverse. So many readers interpret this as a return. Um, so if you're, you and your person have been in a period of separation, perhaps they're coming back around. Um, but if, you know, during this time of, of absence from one another, you may be feeling hopeless and you may feel like walking away, which is the card in the upright. Um, we do have a almost an equal amount of wand and cup energy, so perhaps this connection has a lot of passion, chemistry, and love. You are crowned by the lovers in reverse. This is your card. And that it's in reverse, again, it can indicate some sort of separation, breakup, disharmony, imbalance, um, and that's crowning the reading. So perhaps you're in, in the midst of um, separation and the lover's card also indicates choice. Uh, so perhaps a choice is not being made between you and your person um, to be together or not be together or take things to the next level. Um, apply it how it resonates. In the distant past, you do have the King of Swords in reverse. This card to me is the narcissist card because it does indicate a uh, a manipulative, tyrannical, and abusive person. So perhaps um, 
in the past you were in this kind of toxic relationship um, and maybe you're still in it maybe you're trying to get out of it um, and, and release that burden that we talked about earlier release that anxiety that we talked about earlier um, you know narcissists are they're just difficult partners and uh, any way you slice it and if you are struggling in this kind of relationship, know that there are resources, uh, free resources online that you can use. Um, I will post in the description box a line for um, the domestic abuse hotline. Um, know that emotional abuse is a type of domestic abuse. In the recent past, you have the Six of Cups. And um, this is the card of the soulmate. So perhaps you've recently met someone that could be a soulmate. Um, just know, like my thoughts on twin flames and soulmates, I feel that there are many for each person. Um, because uh, for there to be just one there's too much of a chance you wouldn't actually meet them so I feel like there's many maybe you just met one um, there this card can also indicate reunion um, and so maybe you just uh, reunited with this person and um, perhaps children are involved because there are two children pictured on the card In the future position, you have the King of Cups reverse. So two kings, um, there may be more than one person um, in your life right now. Perhaps you have some options. Unfortunately, they're both uh, manipulative <laughs> options. The King of Cups is an emotionally manipulative person. Um, they could be quite moody. Um, maybe this is like the borderline personality person. Um, unfortunately, it is in your future position. When in the upright, the King of Cups is just um, a beautiful energy to have coming in. That is someone who's emotionally balanced and um, is the King of Love. <laughs> so... You know, you do want the King of Cups, but in the upright. And uh, perhaps you're, you're still, you know, maybe healing from the past. And until you learn the lessons uh, the universe has for you, you will continue to meet the same kind of people. And... Um, so you could be tested in the future by meeting another inappropriate, inappropriate suitor. Some uh, astro signs on the table that I see are um, Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, late Taurus, early Gemini, Scorpio, and late Aquarius, early Pisces. So we have two Sag cards and two Gemini cards, which is interesting because it's your reading Gemini and the card I pulled for the person on your mind is a Sag. In your environment, you do have the Judgment card, which is another card that um, has to do with the universe intervening, so to speak. And, um, you may be judging who who's come into your life and deciding whether or not you want to resurrect this connection if it's been kind of something been, that's been going on for uh, some time. And, um, you know, you should, you know, you would do well to listen to the universe and um, if this person that you're thinking about has put in has been put into your life and they're not meeting your expectations or your needs 
um, it's a test. The universe is testing you. How you're being seen by the person on your mind is the five of cups in reverse. So they feel like you are maybe letting them go. Um, this is a release of pain or grief. It's like um, a moving on after a breakup. So maybe they, they see that you are moving on and leaving them in the, in the past. This card to me is very optimistic because despite there being three cups spilled, there are still two cups remaining. And the two cups in the tarot is a card of union and mutual love. In your hopes or fear position, you have the seven of swords in reverse. Um, so maybe you're fearing that your person is uh, a lying, cheating thief, which is indicated with the seven of swords upright. Um, but you're hoping that they will release that side of themselves, perhaps, um, and that they can rise to the occasion and be the person that you um, have been manifesting to be, you know, your ideal partner. And um, it can also mean breaking free. So if you are trying to get out of a relationship, perhaps with that narcissist in your past, um, it can indicate that, that you're hoping to break free. And in the outcome, you have the Page of Swords. So this is a card um, of stalking. So perhaps your person or you will um, kind of just spy on one another right now during this energetic cycle of energy. Um, there may be, uh, you know, making plans happening between you and your person, but then the plans fall through kind of thing. And maybe some promises will be broken. All right. So um, we're going to clarify a little bit more using my Necronomicon deck. And um, my daughter's been watching Stranger Things in the... <laughs> In the background, you might be hearing the TV. Um, and this deck sort of has a Stranger Things aesthetic. It's really cool. So we're going to get the energy of the person on your mind towards you right now. Your energy toward them. And then the outcome of this energetic cycle, which will say ends the next new moon. Some other signs on the table are Scorpio. Aquarius, and that's it. So a couple Scorpio cards as well. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I really do appreciate your likes, comments, your subscription, your shares, and your... Um, signing up to be notified. I really love doing this. I'm a little under the weather again. <laughs> um, I apologize. My energy level's a little low. And I also have this tendency to, to shuffle a long time, and that's why I, lay. I shuffle prior to, but I do just do this little bit of shuffling for the energetic triads that I lay out at this point in the reading.
So, um, all right. All these cards came out in reverse, so I am going to flip them around. Um, usually I do read reversals, but if they all come out reversed, I feel like it's... Um, I mean, this deck I really haven't broken in, and so most of the cards are upgrade. I think all of, maybe all of them, maybe not quite all, but most. Anyway, um, I flipped them around. Whoops. <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right, your person is feeling the two of pentacles, the two of beakers, slash cups, and the Ten of Torches slash Wands. So they are trying to decide about you. In this card, um, it actually does really remind me of Stranger Things because it has like a person, and I'm showing the card, contemplating two different worlds. One world is like the underworld, and the other world is the, um, you know, normal world um, the right side up and the upside down world so to speak if we're talking uh, like stranger things they may feel like you hold the key to their heart with that key and they may be trying to choose what to do about you they also have the two of cups which is the card of union mutual attraction um, so maybe they want a relationship with you or they want the relationship with you to resume or they want the relationship with you to progress, depending on where you're at. They also do feel, though, the Ten of Wands, which is another, it's a repeating card. Um, and this time it's upright, so maybe they feel burdened by this connection in some way and they want to lay down the burden they do have a lot of passion for you with all those wands you're feeling the ace of beakers slash cups the four of beakers slash cups and the knight and the king of beakers slash cups um so you want a new beginning in love with this person you feel a little bit um disenchanted with the four of cups um like maybe this is taking a long time this connection and you're just starting to lose your enthusiasm for it and you also have a lot of love coming toward your person as the king of cups upright which is repeating this time it's upright this is the kind of king you do want coming in and um, maybe you feel like your person is capable of being the king of cups emotionally balanced um, showing love through action as opposed to just words and in the outcome we have the ace of torches the king of pentacles and uh, the Hermit card, a.k.a. Solitude, in this deck. And I believe I got this outcome for Taurus yesterday. The very same outcome. So um, this is a passionate new beginning in love with someone who is stable. Um, the connection could stabilize within the next uh, couple weeks. And it could lead to some quiet contemplation, reflection. You know, maybe you'll come together and then have to process um, all your feelings in regards to this person. All right. At this point, I'm going to do a little bibliomancy, which... Um, is the practice of opening randomly to a passage in a book and seeking guidance from the universe. So the book that I'm using is Couples by John Updike. If you would just quiet your mind, think of a question and I will open randomly.
Well, it's the others I'm trying to talk about, Marsha and Frank. You keep talking about you and me going to bed. They are going to bed. What are you going to do about it, Harold? Bring me some evidence and I'll confront her with it. What kind of evidence do you expect? Dirty pictures? A notarized diaphragm? All right, I'll stop there. <laughs> um, so that book was written in the 70s, and you can kind of pick up on that with like the reference to a diaphragm. I don't know many people who use that anymore for contraception. I mean, I'm sure people still do, but it's sort of like using CDs or... Um, like like a VCR, <laughs> DVDs, whatever. Um, so hopefully that shed a little bit more light into your situation. I did pull a card to represent who's on your mind just to get further confirmation that this is the reading about them. And um, the card I pulled is Britney Spears. And so your person, I'm showing the card, may be um, extremely fit and um, attractive, very alluring, um, like kind of a sex symbol. They may have blonde hair and blue eyes. They may like reptiles. They may be a performer and have fans. They may uh, be troubled and they may have complicated relationships with their family. The card itself says, when gambling with love, hedge your bets. Take the risk of getting hurt because being in love can be toxic, but the high is amazing. And trust your family to take care of you when you can't. So hopefully that resonated about your person in some way. I am going to end this reading with a yes or no question to my ad Magic 8 book. So please quiet your mind, think of a question, and I will ask. My sources say no. Okay, Gemini, well, I hope this reading helps. And um, if it did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, be notified when the readings are coming. And if interested in the artwork, see info in the description box. And until the next reading, may the source be with you.